being finished, already did a 3D render test, CPU test, the performance, the thermal test, uh, also that we could see the noise and for gaming. So you can have different benchmarks for the use case that you're gonna be using this computer. Like I said at the beginning of the video on part one, it makes sense when you come from uh, a generation, an older generation of the Macs, like the first one in my case, the 2016, and you move on three years after that, then you buy the new uh, Mac that they offer because of the new keyboard, the new uh, thermal system inside, and the upgradable uh, CPU now that you have a core 16 thread. It makes a difference for me, but if you are a kind of person that already bought it last year, uh, the, the MacBook with the same A core performance, but you, and with the Vega 20 graphics, it doesn't make a huge, huge difference for you to spend that amount of money and buy a new machine. I'm buying this new machine because I'm, I'm, I'm planning to work with it at least for another four or five years and then push another one. Spending $3,500 on the machine like this plus taxes it, it will be close to four thousand it's not cheap but it's something that you can have at least you can have a good uh, performance and portability on the same thing before in the past i have different laptops uh, like the razor blade and if you look on the razor blade website you pay 3600 for the max out uh, computer for the max out laptop they have and this is a just six six core of the i7 the six core and uh, you get, yes, an NVIDIA RTX 2080 video card, which is much better than the ones you have here. But you have all the downsides going with those kind of computers because of the performance, the battery performance, it will last maybe two, three hours. And that's just watching videos. You can, once you do anything like video editing, maybe one hour and something, and then you need to charge the, the machine. This, with the laptop, with the MacBook, at least you, you can have five to seven hours with normal work. Let's say browsing on the web, also doing some coding, and working with VMs, I actually have installed a lot of VMs now because you have the 64 gigs of RAMs for the IT guys that really want to have a affordable machine that you can install CentOS, Ubuntu, Windows, Windows and uh, Mac OS having all the system in one computer. This could do the job because you have now 16 threads and then you have you can upgrade to 64 gigs of RAM, which is the model that I have here. So it makes sense for me. In terms of video performance, this uh, it shocked me when I made the video. Uh, because I was testing the same footage from the from the Sony camera and just adding a few effects and also adding a, a titles to the to the test. Mm, on the older Mac, the playback was uh, horrible, so you cannot play back fluid flawless on the on the on the on the timeline. But on this one, uh, but once we export the video, it gets worse because the actually the 2016 MacBook finished faster than this one. I think that's the problem with the Final Cut. I have here the latest version of Final Cut, and of course it's running Catalina because that's the software that can't be built on this new Mac. But on the older one, I have uh, Mojave. So maybe that is something about the software, but in terms of uh, hardware, this one should be much better than the other one for uh, video editing and exporting. I, I export two times the video, the other one finished first. I will be uh, monitoring that and check in a few weeks with the new update with the Mac OS Catalina here. I will also install the other one and make the test again. Maybe the the, the, the final cut, the latest version I installed here is not optimized as well uh, for this video card. This moment I need to make an update because I saw an update coming up or something like that. So my final thoughts about this video and about this the new MacBook Pro, I think it's the best MacBook Apple has done uh, at least in the past three years. Uh, the, the older ones with a lot of problems, the keyboards, uh, the performance on the thermal throttling, all the things. Here you still have, of course, in any laptop, you're gonna have higher temperatures on the CPU because you, when you put a core uh, 16 threads on this kind of machine, it, it is difficult to do it because Intel is not delivering good CPUs to keep thermals lower, but that's the what we get on the laptop. But in terms of portability, you get a great screen, an incredible screen, a new ready signed keyboard, and a productivity laptop that you can do anything on it. You can 3D render on it, you can do coding, you can do uh, IT stuff like I said before, creating VMs. You can do video editing on it because you don't need to have, because it, the battery at least will last for two, three hours. Uh, even four hours when you're doing heavy stuff uh, video editing. So it's a good choice to buy and actually the price is not here is not a big difference compared before when Apple released this new product everybody was expecting that we're gonna ha have an increase in price but actually it didn't happen here and if you compare with the market with top of the line 4k um, laptops with the new RTX 2060 or 2070 on it and they don't even have an 8 core CPU the price is almost the same but remember a laptop like this like Apple always keep the value and you can resell your laptop in a few years and get money back well where uh, the normal Windows PC you can have 
uh, you can lose a lot of money on it and you're gonna, get, you're gonna get your money back to buy a new one. So I hope you like this video. It takes a lot of time to make all these tests. Let me know in the comment below what you think about them. If you want me to perform a different test maybe that you are interested in it. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna keep this MacBook and I see you on the next one. Bye.